I'm going to share my packing system with everybody um, with this travel around the world uh, trip that I'm planning shortly. So typically when I would travel, I would bring, you know, great big suitcase, bring way too many clothes, make it so, okay, I'm going to have options when I'm going out at night, whatever I'm doing. And it's just way too much. Obviously you can't lug around one of those giant suitcases when you're traveling around the world. Number one, you look like an idiot. And second thing, it's just not practical. So uh, about two years ago, when I went to Thailand, I brought in a normal size suitcase, smaller suitcase. I did check it much of the time, but, uh, for, but for this one, I'm doing it differently and I'm gonna scale this down once again. And I've gone out and I've bought a backpack and that's all I'm gonna be bringing with me. And here, here it is actually. So it's an Osprey Farpoint 40 backpack. It was about $200 and it's pretty cool. It's got uh, everything I need basically. It's got pockets here for like, you know, like a water bottle, uh, something else, you know, stick some stuff in there. Locks for hostels, that kind of stuff. Little right here, a little pocket here I could do some things with. You just put some, you know, some, uh, maybe some travel documents. Uh, it's got a spot for a laptop, which is important because I'm going to be doing a lot of blogging, YouTubing, all that fun stuff. Right here, this is going to hold, you know, quite a bit, fair bit of stuff. I've done a couple runs and I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be putting in it exactly. And this is cool. Right here, this cut actually pops out and unzips. So it goes from a backpack to like a, you know, a regular carry. Has, has a little shoulder strap, put it over your shoulder. So when you're going on the plane, just kind of disguises it as a, a regular bag, which can help when you're, when you want to just do a travel on, cause I'm not checking this thing anywhere. I'm planning on just strapping it to my back and traveling the world. All right, accessories now. So when you're traveling around the world like this with a backpack, you need to be somewhat organized. So I have made some purchases to organize myself you know when you're you're going through security or you know somebody's looking right at you you got to dig for something into your bag your backpack's a disaster and it feels like it's about 30 45 minutes while they're looking at you where it might just be a couple of minutes but it's like a scramble just to find something then you can't find it you're throwing stuff out it ends up on the floor so what i've done is i purchased these little packing tubes so basically what I'm going to put in these things is like, this one's going to be for like my vlogging equipment, socks and underwear. Uh, you know, this not sure yet, but it's, it's, you know, you know, things that are just going to be organized. I'm going to know they're there. It's just going to help me, you know, make sure I'm, I'm kind of well organized as, Hey, I'm going to be living out of this thing. This, this backpack for 12 months. Second thing I purchased, is a day pack so i don't this one's it's pretty it's big enough so i don't want to be lugging that thing around if i'm going on a day trip somewhere or i'm just bombing around the city so here we have it it's just this little uh it's from uh i dry bag actually is the company and it converts to a backpack here i'll even show you how this works it's pretty cool you just basically fold 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 Fold, goes like this, the straps, they just tie up like that. And you, you can see how this would work. So it's a backpack and it's small. And it actually, one, one thing that's awesome about this is that it's waterproof. So you just take it into the water, float. So if I'm heading down to the beach for the day, and I got my, you know, my cameras, my vlogging stuff, all this equipment that can't get wet. This is a great way so I can go in. I don't have to worry about leaving it on the beach and risking that somebody may steal it. Okay, here's the, here's the kicker right here. My accessory here for, I'm going with the, call it the fanny pack, the belt bag, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And I've never been one to do this, but I know it, it's going to make a lot of sense especially when it comes to things like passports, my earbuds, cameras, anything I want to get really quick, maybe some travel documents, 
I can keep my pot in there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not bringing any pot with me, I promise. But it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, so, so this just kind of completes it for that day to day. So we got the fanny pack, we got the backpack, we got the day packs, we got the travel tubes, and Bob's your uncle, and we're almost good to go. I'm sure some of you are wondering what's the deal with this beautiful shirt. And hopefully you all know it's the Tragically Hip, the band from my hometown. And this is actually my gourd hat inspired by, not just inspired by Gord Downey, actually the, the lady that made these hats, Lily Put Hats here in Toronto, they actually, she designed all of Gord's hats for uh, his final tour. So it's pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to be uh, sporting this hat as I travel. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm actually going to take you guys over and show you guys a little uh, sneak peek of, uh, of Gord. There we go. And that, that shirt right there, I actually have the shirt. I've got a Gord type hat. And definitely gonna be, uh, you'll see, when I when I wear that Jaws shirt, I'm serious, and I'm packing this thing, one of the six t-shirts I bring with me is gonna be that Jaws tee, and, hey Mick, how are you bud? That Jaws tee, I got this hat, I'm gonna be hitting the road, and you know what, I might even go with the bandana around my neck, just to honor Gord while I'm on my, on, while I'm on the road. What am I packing, you ask? Well, you know what, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so here it is. Here's here's what I'm bringing with me for 12 months on the road. So first off, keep in mind this is basically a week week close. I'm gonna be doing laundry uh, probably once a week, I would think. I'm gonna be living when I'm when, while I'm traveling. It's gonna be as if I'm back in Toronto, living here. I'm gonna be going to markets. I'm not gonna be living like I'm on a resort for a year, drinking my face off eating like crazy, where you're getting 10 pounds in a week. It's, I'm going to be living as if I'm back in Toronto only. I'm going to be seeing the world and traveling the world. Sure, I'm going to be going out on the weekends, doing all that stuff. But it's basically one week's of clothes. So here it is. So you got seven pairs of underwear. I got three pairs of short socks for underwear shorts. I don't want the big, you know, those big long, long socks with shorts. That doesn't, that doesn't work. Uh, bathing suit. Uh, seven pairs of long socks because I love my socks. I, I wait till you see my socks; they're awesome. Uh, my globe digger hat, of course. Um, six or seven t-shirts, likely. So, uh, what else? Two pair. Oh, two pairs of shorts. That'll have to do. A pair of flip flops. Uh, two button downs. Maybe I can get. But I'm thinking two button downs. One long sleeve button down, and then a. Uh, a short sleeve button down that I love that my daughter gave me actually. Actually, she, she gave me both of these shirts, both from Lululemon, so they're awesome. Um, one In one pair of jeans, I'm, I'll probably, it'll be cold when I leave, so I'll wear one pair and then pack one pair. And then one or two hats, baseball type hats that I uh, hang on my suitcase because I love hats. You know what, when you get a mug like this, you wear hats. Because I'm going to become a vlogger, I'm going to be bringing all my vlogging equipment, and that's going to include an iPhone 13 Pro Max, an iPhone 11, a GoPro, um, plug-in earphones, microphones, a, a light, a couple of tripods. I've got a cage where I can attach all the accessories to it, and that's all going to go into one of these things. Then we have my very important travel documents. Can't go anywhere without a passport. Can't go anywhere without a COVID vaccine proof now, which I have that as well. PCR test with, as I'm flying into Nicaragua and they at this point require it. Hopefully that changes, but right now they need that. All my printed accommodations, flights, travel insurance. So I purchased travel insurance. So that's all gonna be in there. International driver's license. And a lot of that stuff's gonna slide right into this thing. Okay, toiletries. We're also packing light here. I'm not bringing one of these, sh those shaving kits jammed full of stuff. I'm gonna bring a Ziploc bag and basically gonna be buying this when I arrive, but I'm gonna have enough to get there. Small tube of toothpaste, a toothbrush, deodorant, can't don't wanna smell the plane up, a razor, shaving cream, floss, 
Imodium Pepto-Bismol or oh, antibiotics. I've, I've done my work there. Um, oh, Advil. You know what? Especially early on, I'm sure there's going to be some hangovers. So I, I got the good 400, the double, the good, good Advils. And oh, yes, uh, never, ever, ever travel without your Manscaped products. So you bring in those. So my Crop Reviver Ball Toner, that's a necessity. It's, it's also, it also serves as my uh, cologne as well. It's amazing, that's, that stuff. So if you haven't tried it, try it. Some other items I just can't forget. Uh, well, I need, I'm gonna need lot, some lot, little locks for my backpack. I actually have a lock too I'm bringing for, you know, I'm gonna be staying in hostels. You need to have a lock, storage locker, especially when you have, I don't know, I got three, $4,000 worth of vlogging equipment. Um, also my computer, can't leave that behind. I'm gonna be doing a lot of blogging too. Uh, got an awesome website, globedigger.ca, and I'm gonna be sharing my travels, my travels, my YouTube videos, um, through blogs and lots of pictures, all of that fun stuff. Uh, sunglasses, oh, a beach towel. You need a beach towel, you can't travel without a beach towel. I'm gonna be seeing a lot of beaches. My wireless headphones, which I talked about. All my chargers for all my devices, um and yeah and that's uh pretty much it so what i'm gonna do now we're gonna get this bag packed and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done so everything i've talked about in this video so far um the backpack all the different accessories everything um there look in the description and i will leave links so if you're interested in any of the stuff that i'm taking with me um yeah there it is it's there for you Well, that's it done mission accomplished so took a little bit a little bit of work but i know this this backpack can give me a week's worth of clothes everything i need i'll have to do laundry once a week but i have it carry on only not going to be checking any baggage off and on planes trains and automobiles and we will see you on the road